What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American Politics, back again with a new video. And today, it is time that we answer a simple question being asked. Is Oregon truly about to flip Republican? That is right, folks. New polling data from the great state of Oregon from Emerson College Polling. A pollster that, again, we've had some problems with in the past, but tries, tries to get the polling correct shows Republican Christine Drazen with a two-point lead over Democrat Tina Kotek for the governorship. This is huge. And I understand that a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, the third-party candidate and all that stuff. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Now, before I forget, of course, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash that like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, and yes... Of course, go follow the mysterious Twitter account in the description down below, and also join the channel. That is right, folks, for just 10 cents a day, you can join Real American Politics, only 10 cents a day, to help continue the daily content. We all love that daily content. So I hope you join today. So Oregon is a race this year that originally a lot of people thought, oh, Republicans can't win that race. Even with a third-party candidate in Betsy Johnson, who is siphoning votes away from Democrats more than Republicans, well, you scroll down here, and Republicans are currently leading in the polling in Oregon. And even 538, one of the worst organizations ever, has Christine Drazen up by a point. Real Clear Politics has him, her up by two and a half points. Now, the biggest reason I would say <clears throat> that this race is going to go Republican, in my opinion, is because of this category right here, the independent vote to Betsy Johnson. She is the independent candidate running in this seat, and not some schlep that's going to get like 2% of the vote, or not even 5%, like the weed party in Minnesota. No, no, no. She's getting upwards of 30% of the vote in some polls. So she's a fairly serious candidate who has a lot of backing, a lot of big names in the state of Oregon, is in fact <clears throat> endorsing Betsy Johnson, former governors, or I should say former senators, representatives, etc. And she is running as a centrist candidate, and she's actually taking a bit more of the vote from Kotek, who is a terrible candidate for the Democrats, then Christine Drazen, who actually, <clears throat> for the state of Oregon, is actually pretty good on the issues, running a very solid campaign, focused on issues that matter to voters. And this is Oregon we're talking about. This is a fairly liberal-leaning state. You scroll down here, and look at, it, look at this. <clears throat> this is an indicator to me if a state is liberal, moderate, or conservative, or how conservative a state is. The national average is 38% conservative. Here, it's only 30%. As for liberals, they're 33%. Nationally, they're, 30, uh, they're 24. So this alone tells you this is a more liberal-leaning state. And even more so than Washington, this was a shocker to me. But in the state of Washington... You scroll down here, where is it? I think it's actually right up here. Yep, Washington, a state that voted more Democrat than Oregon, has actually a larger share of the population that identifies as conservative. That's a pretty big deal. I mean, Oregon's not a state that you would call a conservative paradise. And that's why this centrist candidate and Betsy Johnson is going to screw Democrats over because the moderates and, you know, liberals are not, are a bigger vote share than nationally. Liberals make up 33% in Oregon, make up 24% nationally. That's why a third party candidate like Betsy Johnson running, running as a centrist candidate, is going to screw Democrats over more than Republicans. And that's why in Washington, <clears throat> while it won't be that big of an effect, it would slightly hurt Republicans. So that alone tells you that Johnson is taking a big chunk of the vote. Now, as for Emerson College, they released a new poll. Let's look at this. I really want to see 
where things are at. So the Senate race, who cares about that? I mean, who even is Joe J. Perkins? Give me a break. The abortion stuff, who cares? Who really cares? Now, here's what I'm talking about. Look at the overall. Drazen is a 36%, Tina Kotex a 34%, etc. But look at independents. Who suffered the largest gap? Betsy Johnson took more of the votes away from Tina Kotek than from Christine Drazen from independents, who in the state of Oregon, they voted Democrat by nine points. They're not, you know, a Republican-leaning group. No, they are a fairly Democrat group in the state of Oregon. And they're 29% for Betsy Johnson. And I guarantee you, if it was just between Kotek and Drazen, it would be a close race because the Democratic candidate, Tina Kotek, one of the worst candidates nationally. Look, Katie Hobbs is the worst, in my opinion. John Fetterman's probably second. She's an underrated third. She's bad. She's not running good campaign, and she's getting destroyed by Betsy Johnson in the debates. It's kind of funny that Betsy Johnson is hurting Democrats this much. And you look at the debates, I recommend you do. Dresden and Betsy Johnson, they just hammered Kotek. It was pretty entertaining. Again, I recommend you watch it. And you look at the women vote, once again, it's clear that it is taking more of the vote away from Kotek, or I should say, yeah, Kotek than Dresden. So that's what I'm talking about, folks. Again, you can look at men, a group that in the state of Oregon voted, I think, Republican, or actually Democrat by six points. So Drazen is overperforming with men than Trump did. But even then, I guarantee you the lion's share of these men voters would vote towards the Democrat. And you look at candidate favorability. The most popular candidate is Drazen, lowest unfavorability and highest overall favorability. And I look at the in intensity index. This is the best indicator to tell you how good, or I should say how strong a candidate is. Look at this. Look who has the lowest intensity index. Negative. Drazen. Negative 6% intensity. That means very strong, unfavorable. Kotek is the largest. Look at that. That's a 28% negative gap. As for Betsy Johnson, around 16%. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Kotek's not a strong candidate. Drazen is more well-liked. And with all that in mind, I truly think, in a state that Biden's approval is underwater in, I think Republicans are about to win the Oregon governorship. First time, I think, since the 90s. And again, it's not going to be by a landslide margin. It'll be like a three-point margin at most. But everything I'm seeing, Republicans are on pace to win. Now, the biggest issue, we love looking at this, threats to democracy and abortion access. Guys, Emerson, I usually like you guys, but come on. I know this is Oregon, a bit more of a left-leaning state, but seriously, you're really going to say threats to democracy is the biggest issue to voters? Yeah, no. If Kotek is, or I should say Drazen's winning by a couple points, it's not threats to democracy is the biggest issue. It would probably be like 10, 15%, but not 27. But anyways, folks, my opinion is, yes, Republicans are currently on pace to actually flip the Oregon governorship, a state that voted Democrat by like 15 points. Now, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. So make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Godspeed to all of you.